Okay. Uh, in this video, um, we will learn about enterprise structure. What is enterprise structure in SAP? And before that, in the last video, I have covered about the what is SAP, what is ERP, uh, why we use SAP, what is the advantages. So, and I have covered also what is landscape. So today also I will just uh, give you some, you know, small uh, real time idea, you know, what is uh, how, you know, landscape uh, we, we can see in the organization, how, you know, in, in an organization level, how they set up their landscape. Okay. Uh, so uh, before start uh, with the uh, company company code let's start with the uh, landscape i'll just give you a small idea how it is you know uh, available in the real time so yeah so landscape of sap so we uh, like here is like you know we have a development server then we have a quality and then we have a production server landscape server is like uh, generally it is like um, uh, available in the three digit uh, that I will explain you uh, once I will open my system SAP system where I can explain you where I can see this number so I just given you some just rough idea uh, so it's like uh, it can be 100 110 120 so like that different different organization they uh, choose their different different name uh, with the three three digit this they, they choose that so again uh, this uh, development server is like you know they divide in client wises so means uh, they want to do some configuration in one client and then they want to uh, move the changes for kind of some testing and then uh, further is just for uh, some kind of testing okay so uh, so let me explain you what is development so uh, development this is is like you know first client uh, we define in as I told you define in three digit okay so uh, here this is also known as golden client and then uh, we have a unit testing then we have a hundred and ten this is we use for unit testing some kind of rough testing rough note something like that it's rough kind of testing and then we have a hundred twenty sandbox if required Gen uh, generally uh, this is like you know client uh, in sap environment basis a uh, consultant set up these uh, client so is like uh, so what kind of configuration setup and all so is like uh, we have to set up uh, you know changes or configuration in our development and then we move to the next client 110 and here again we'll do some kind of testing what is this okay all good okay then uh, we move to the quality why we move that is like again we have a quality is a different altogether is a different server okay so again uh, this is mainly used for end-to-end uh, -end testing or um, integration testing here is like you know uh, we don't come here and again we uh, you know configure we don't do that whatever we have done we have okay this is fine whatever we are expecting the values are coming good the same thing will move from development to quality only we don't uh, create any kind of you know uh, changes we don't do any kind of changes or configuration in quality we simply push from development quality and then here we do the end-to-end -end, uh, testing here like uh, like if we have integration testing with the other module then we do in the quality only so once it is done and sometimes uh, like uh, for quality like we send a mail to the business for you know validating the uh, scenario uh, and like business if you know validating that uh, okay all good all expected values are coming then okay we are good then we move the changes to the production once the changes is available in the production that means it is available for our day-to-day -day activity so it is live so uh, this is all about a uh, landscape of SAP okay now we'll move to the organization structure okay uh, Okay, so once the landscape has set up in our 
uh, organization the next step is just we have to create the enterprise structure so uh, <clears throat> so we have first operation concern operating concern operating concern is the first we have to create operating concern is the highest node which is used for cost and profitability purpose okay. under that we have to create control controlling area controlling area is like you know one controlling area can use uh, by other company codes i will explain what is company company codes so uh, controlling area is done uh, what is controlling area controlling area is like um, we use for you know budgeting purpose and if we want to track our expenses by departmental wise by our business unit wise that time we create controlling area under that we have to create company uh, we have to create company codes so um, if we have a let's suppose let's take an example i'll explain you what is company and company code here we can see company is a, com a completely optional based uh, if you want to create you can do that uh, though uh, company code is important it is also known as legal entity so i'll just give you one example so uh, okay uh, so let me explain you what is company uh, and what is company code so uh, let's take an example of uh, uh, TCS uh, Tata so uh, Tata they have uh, lots of business okay uh, let's suppose uh, they have a TCS company they have a Tata finance like that they have a uh, lots of uh, uh, they are they have you know Tata T then they have a uh, they have a telecom uh, like that they have a different different uh, companies so so Tata is just a company under that they have a different different kind of business so that is known as company code legal entity company is a completely optional if you want to keep in SAP we can do that or if you want to uh, just uh, you know uh, just uh, create company code that is uh, then we can do that it's just a uh, company code is a mandatory so uh, company is like you know we use for consolidation purpose require all together if you want to see overall you know how company code one and company two is uh, you know working overview of that then again we can see here all together so like that and uh, company uh, company code is just uh, uh, important uh, without that uh, we cannot you know uh, do any kind of activity so company code uh, is like you know organization uh, activity in accounting at which level financial system like profit and loss accounts and balance balance sheet are prepared and company is just like organization entity in accounting unit which represent a business organization like as i told you reliance group tata etc then uh, under company code we have to create plant plant one plant two and that we can assign to purchase organization that i will explain in mm and the, then we have a sales organization and then we have a uh, work center work center is like uh, work center is like you know uh, where our um, production related this is we use for production related activity 